looks like we're gonna be going live here. I'm not sure if you're ready. Uh, oh, I'm ready. I was actually here when you just went AFK and I asked you for your pred. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, I guess I can give it now. I think I'm gonna have to go with chill to good 5-2 here. I think Dunn's presence on the map is just gonna be too much for Night's Grills. And it seems like Kosa already screwed up his rollout, so he may be a little slow to mid here. I wouldn't rule him out just yet. Demos are very strong, but he was a little bit slow there. Looking to put out some damage, not really getting any targets. There he lands a nice 30 damage onto that demo as he pushes up on the right side. A scout getting in his face. He should be able to finish him out, and he does. A soldier right on the medic there. Takes a sticky. Hopefully that scout can clean it up. He does not. The soldier is on the medic, and it seems... It looks like Chill's good <laughs> is all in the red right here. All three players just completely destroyed. It's looking like they're going to attempt to clean up the Knights of Girls. Yeah, and, you know, as we were just saying that, SureShot lands a... Uh, escape plan kill onto Delta Fox, the medic of Chill to Good. A uh, little bit of a misstep by Chill to Good there. Uh, they should have been able to keep their medic up. That soldier stayed alive way too long. And now Knights of Grills, who backed out their medic, are going to be looking to just get right in with this Uber. And I'll let you take it away from there. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to see a really good push out here. As we were talking about in the pregame, SureShot might not have the clearest comms, so it's vital that they have really good coordination as they're pushing out here. Looks like Grills is going to want to take this Uber left at this pocket here. They're going to take four people at this, though. They could easily get taken down by a Sticky Trap, but it looks like Coast is already going to death that. Pushing in now, still have a lot of buffs, but they're taking quite a while. Delta Fox already is sitting at 50% Uber, but it looks like they're going to be able to get in without popping. Yeah, and that's it's always nice to see that. It's a treat to see teams getting in without having to pop Uber. It, it takes execution, it takes skill, and two members of Chill to Good in the red right now, they should be able to take this damage, the, the damage that, that Blue has incurred, and just kind of, you know, work with that. Although they're opting to just sit back, they're going to take it slow, they understand how important it is to maintain that, that perfect record, and they really want it. Yeah, now that Ubers have basically settled out here, probably going to see one team rather go for a pick on the flank. The flank is so large on this map, there's really a lot of room to work with. I'm anticipating seeing some action happening here in the alley, right here, which is where most of the action happens. That's scouts, soldiers, they come down this way and they make some crazy plays happen. So I anticipate to see something happening there. Um, if not, it's possible that we may have some action under the, the underpass here, although it's looking pretty quiet, quiet right now. What do you think? Um, I think both teams are just feeling each other out right now. It's, this is a really important match for both of them, both sitting undefeated right now. Neither of them really wants to give up too much ground, scared of flubbing a push. So both teams are just going to play it safe. Maybe we'll see a suicide from Mangachu or something like that, maybe an off-class. I would not put it past Mangachu to off-class in this match. I have seen him play Spy, I've seen him play Pyro Heavy, I've seen him do all the crazy things. And I would not put it past him to just go back into spawn and switch off to Spy. Uh, but I know he wants this win badly, and it is it is very important to maintain that that perfect record. Yeah, I'm surprised that nothing has really happened here yet. Both teams doing a pretty good job of keeping all their heals up. Nothing really happening on the flank. I'd expect someone to have gone for something by now. Yeah, and usually what we will see is a soldier just do a double rocket jump from that alleyway off the side here and over down onto the medic. It is a little tough, as some scouts will try to get the high ground and just deny that jumping soldier but that's usually what we see uh, people complaining about their their dpm as no real action is happening unless you're a demo of course in which case you can always be getting damage sitting behind a wall of your sickies looks like chill's good complaining about the spawn advantage from middle planets grills start pushing <laughs> well if uh, people are not aware if you control more points uh, meaning if you're red right now and you have the middle point you will have an advantage in spawn rate. So you, if you go in and die, you will be up faster than someone on blue if they were to try to come in and die. So, not aptly put, but I think I got the point across. As I say that, Patty does make a play into the combo. I miss it, and it looks like we have a pause. 
quite unfortunate timing there, but at least we can see what happened. Delta Fox sitting at only 60% of his uber left. Looks like he might not even be able to force Grills if Grills was able to back out fast enough. Grills already kind of sitting on the low ground, and at worst, Dunn will force them, and then they'll probably get a free pick on Dunn there. Yeah, and keep in mind that Delta Fox has 70 health. He can't really commit into them with only 70 health. And it is unpaused, done. Going to get that pop out of Knights of Grills. Done behind them now. May be able to get out. Just trying to take that high ground. As I say that, gr Knights of Grills' Uber falls off, and Chill to Good is still looking pretty with six up right now. A really impressive rotation there from Dunn, able to stay alive for so long, and his team is flooding in after cre him creating so much space there. Basically, Beeman and Schnell just combining for so many kills, and only Patty left alive, who's a respawn, leaving Delta Fox with the uber advantage. You're probably going to sit at around 50%. Yeah, and it looked like right there, as I said, six up. Uh, Chill to Good took three picks within a matter of a second off of Knights of Grills. A little bit of a, a positioning blunder by them all eating the same projectile splash damage and just imploding. So from there, uh, Chill Too Good was able to take that mid. They have about a 40% advantage. They can take this this advantage directly in if they are aware of it. And I'm going to watch from Dunn now. I want to see how he's going to conduct this Uber. I understand he's a smart gentleman. Yeah, so I'm like excited. He realizes he has this. Probably gonna push in. Looks like he's gonna go in now with his uber advantage. Grills only sitting at 70%. They have to pop really early though. Dunn not able to do anything with this. Probably not gonna get any picks and just trade the uber for a cap. Yep, and you know, Knights of Grills does have an option here. They can try to get in. Dunn just overstaying his welcome here. Down to 45 health. He has to hide behind them. Knights of Grills is forced to pop that. And they get Delta Fox. RB picks off B-Man. Three down for Chill to Good. However. As I say that, Dunn is on the last point and gets stopped by Sure Shot, but not before Schnell picks off that last Soldier Sure Shot and gets the cap. Nice play by them. That was just very sad there. Like, Dunn focused down so hard, 45 health, but it looks like Knights of Grills just decided to ignore him, and he was able to just get behind with that equalizer and get that cap going for so long. Really unorganized there for Knights of Grills. Yeah, they were not expecting, after that Uber, to have those people bomb in onto their last point like they did. So, Chaz coming into mid, trying to land some stickies onto that demo, but ends up eating two in return, not putting out too much damage, Chaz being somewhat ineffective at this mid, a soldier jumps the red crate, all the action's going on right now, and it looks like Knights of Grills is going to have a little bit of a height advantage, Chaz still spamming down on everything, unable to really land anything, gets a little damage on that scout, these three need to play very close, it is 3v3 right now, Schnell going down, and Dennis the Menace putting some pressure on Kosa, but not before Kosa lands a nice pill onto his face, and he turns into Gibbs. However, Knights of Grills will take the midpoint, and yeah, not chill sure too good. We'll have Delta to back out. Fox getting so close here, like he only had 90% Uber. If Knights of Grills had realized that he was pushing up so close, they might have been able to catch him out. Still doesn't have Uber, sitting really far forward in lobby. It looks like Kosa is continuing to fight this point here. I like that play by Kosa. I like that he came in and tried to play uh, a little bit of aggressiveness onto um, a demo that was out of position. As I say that, these Ubers do go off, and Chill Too Good with a slightly better Uber, but Kosa down to 40 health. We have half of Knights of Grills not involved in this fight, though. Mangachu. Like the pocket's gonna go down. If they can just recycle the Ubers right now, they'll be able to push after that. Yeah, and it is hard to catch a lot of this action because it's there's a lot of close quarter combat, and if I'm watching one player, I'm gonna be missing a lot of action on another. It just seems like the action's happening everywhere. Yeah, these are very crazy fights right now. After the Ubers are exchanged, all the players are converging in small areas at once. Yep, a lot of pressure onto Knights of Grills. However, they are 6-up. They should not give this point up for free right now. They should bully them out with some spam. As Mangachu is down, he tried to make a play on the medic and was not successful. Chaz down to 30 health, however. It's even numbers right now, and they end up Ubering. If they can get the medic right here, then they're in good shape. But I do not think they will be able to get the medic as he is backing out with three players in safety. But this demo might go down if they do not Uber, but they do. Yeah, Chaz is sitting at 18 health, and it looks like Dennis and Arby are both down the scouts, and Chaz is going to fall as well. I think Knights of Grills are going to be cleaned up here. Yep, Knights of Grills falling apart slowly but surely. Sure shot behind with 15 health. Gonna go down. And Grills also goes down. Dennis the Menace, the only remaining player, sitting at last as a heavy. So not really sitting, kinda standing on his little stubby legs. How does he how does he fit all that man meat onto those tiny legs? I'll never know.
Well, that's a good looking heavy if I've ever seen one. Yeah, looks like his outfit here. It's really impressive. Yeah, it's a nice outfit. So, right now, Delta Fox at 65% up 1 0. They got to be feeling pretty good about pushing into this last. Um, you know, their 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 last back cap was somewhat demoralizing. All they need to do is take maybe a soldier scout into the last with this push, and it looks like they may do that as B-Man is calling for that heal, and they're going to be pushing in from the left side. Here they come. Dunn's coming in, trying to put damage out on the combo. Looks at a soldier jumping over his head. Surely he can finish him off. He does. He's going to wait for his team to get in. He's going to continue to put damage out on that demo. If the demo goes down, then they're in big trouble. Just grills up now, and it looks like Chiltergood's going to be taking the second round. I was watching Dunn's the paw there, just like you were, and he was able to just put out so much damage with that Uber, completely denying position for almost all of Knights of Grills, making so much room around the point there, really impressive from him. Yep, you are absolutely right. This mid, we are going to be watching from Mangachu's POV. We want to see what he's going to get himself into, what kind of shenanigans are going to happen. And he's going to be doing a left side rollout. Not sure why he just did 10 damage to himself there, but he's jumping in up top, trying to get behind and distract. He's going to be on the demo here, but he is going to go down to a nicely placed pill by Chaz. Grills going down as well. Chill to good. Still able to clean up most of this mid, but not before RB takes down B-Man. Sure shot knows something's lurking around in the elbow there. Takes a rocket. Two rockets in the foot by Dunn. Very well placed rockets, and Dunn's just trying to hold down this point, turn it into a bunker. He is a soldier, after all. Yeah, really impressive coordination that, there from the Chilt Good players, able to just focus on Sure Shot the moment he came in, completely locking them out, even though it was a 2v2 fight there. Yeah, and you know what? That that definitely seemed like it was going toward Knights of Grills, but Chilt Good were able to pull it back together and able to grab those last few frags um, as the other team was just kind of running around like chickens with their heads cut off. So I think Knights of Grills is going to have to do some pulling together if they're going to want to be able to take some rounds, if not win this game. It's going to take a miracle for that, I think, but to just get a few rounds, Chill to Good looks like they have the momentum. Mom uh, Mangachu going down, though, to Chaz's sticky trap there. Must not have been seen. Schnell trying to put a little bit of pressure on their combo. Grill's getting a little bit aggressive here with his demo. And they may look to try to take this ground for free. And the Uber coming out. Grill's does not have the Uber yet. Going to the med pack, falling back. And Schnell goes down. Here comes the Uber. They should be able to clean up most of these kills, if not all of them. Delta Fox going down. A nicely popped Uber. They need to kill that scout above right now, though. Yeah, Dunn's behind. He's probably going to try and go for Grills here. He's jumping in right now. Is he going to be able to get it? The only hit the demo. It looks like he's just fighting on the point. Not going to be able to get anything. He goes down. Now Coast is probably going to go down as well. If he and Mangachu both go down, they're going to easily be able to roll through second here and possibly get some presence on that. Yeah, and as I'm saying that they have the momentum, Knights of Grills comes back with a perfectly timed Uber. And they are able to clean up most of Chill to Good. Chill to Good now being pushed back to their second with a 40% deficit on their Uber charge. So Grills is now uh, in reverse, having Chill to Good on their last. But Kosa goes down. So does Sure Shot. However, your demo is a little more important than your uh, soldier, I'd say. Oh my goodness! And I missed that beautiful flank by Mangachu. He picks off Grills and the demo. Medic and demo down. And they're just trying to send it all in. Free frags for Chill to Good. And Delta Fox having 70% advantage. I don't know how I keep missing these sweet flanks. I need to watch these roamers more. Yeah, it looks like things are just always going on when you'd expect to be watching the co the, the combo classes. Just people from the flank always just flooding in and getting picks. It looks like they're going to be able to push out here and Delta Fox sitting at full uber though. And it looks like Knights of Grills again flooding in three players. Chaz, sure shot and Grills all over extending going down here. Not sure I agree with that. Yeah, I mean, now Patty's going to go down and... Oh, but he does get the pop out of Delta Fox. To s Delta Fox, rather, a slight misstep by him. He should have been able to hold it there. And only Dennis the Menace remaining on Knights of Grills. They should be able to take this mid, no problem. And they're about even, actually. So Knights of Grills will definitely be holding their second and will be back in the position that we started after mid. But Knights of Grills is coming in. What do you think, Wes? 
I think they, this is really aggressive play from them. They know Kosa was down, so they're going in off of this advantage. I really like that aggressive play, but it looks like Chaz and Patty and Church are all getting incredibly low, and they've already lost their demo man. They need to cut their losses and get out now, but it looks like almost all of their players have already died. I like the idea of going in off that demo pick and trying to make space for their team, but not executed the best. Yep, and I'd say, you know, the Battle of the Roamers, Mangachu's made some pretty good plays this game. He's, uh, I think that last pick, that pick on the Medic there before he got that Uber was great. And the Uber coming in from Delta Fox, a little split from his pocket though. The pocket may go down and he does. They should be able to hold this 3-3 three, three right now. Dennis the Menace on Pyro taking off taking out done only the demo and medic remain as they back out of main safely but knights of girls having a 20 percent advantage they should not be able to do much with it that i don't agree with them pushing out here if they're going to i mean the demo's up he's going to be putting stickies up i doubt they'll be able to get in and, and cap that point unless they have uber and plan on using that uber yeah, that'd be really impressive if they were going to attempt to push out here with this 20% advantage. It looks like they're going to do just that. Turned into actually a 35% advantage. Delta Fox not building that Uber very effectively. But it looks like they're going to be popped pretty early here. Lots of spam coming into the store. Yeah, Grail is forced to pop through, not look, looking like he's not going to be able to get the medic. But Mangachu getting down to 9 health and Dunn getting pretty low as well. Yeah, um, you know, what ends up happening is teams will telegraph their plays. They'll sit in one place for far too long. Before I get into that, however, they're pushing behind Knights of Grills as they were then pushing into mid. That's going to force them to get into chill to good. But a scout was able to kill their demo right before the Uber. Done taking out Grills, but they are stuck in a pile of red players right now. And I don't see this going well for them. Yeah, Delta Fox and Dunn all going down. They really needed to either pop it earlier to conserve health or not be there in the first place. By dropping Kosa and letting everyone else get so low before popping, Knights of Grails were able to just flood in after the Uber and take out all those low players. Yep. Uh, I, you know, it looked like a good play, but that scout snuck in behind them, picked off the demo, which would have helped them tremendously. And, you know, Knights of Grills even... After suffering that medic loss, we're able to defend that. Remember guys, medics after Uber, somewhat useless <laughs> when there's five fragging classes around you and it's just the soldier medic. So not the best pick to go for, but they did the best they could. But it looks like it isn't too bad for Tilt to Good. It looks like Delta Fox sitting at pretty even Uber now. They're on their, they're actually still in mid, so they didn't really lose anything out of that. Yeah, and you know what? I'm going to be watching some of these roamers. I want some of that hot roamer action tonight. Uh, let's go ahead and watch Mangachu as they will more than likely be looking to make a play. Um, chill to good, that is. As they do have the middle point and they do have that spawn advantage. So I'll be mostly watching Mangachu here. Uh, both teams have Uber. It's, this is the same spot that we saw him in at the beginning of this round. As Metalworks can somewhat be stalemate -y, sometimes. And now that they're up two rounds, I wouldn't be too surprised if they were to go to some go for something here. They know that they're so far playing the better game, so they probably aren't going to be as worried about going for a play at this point. Yeah, I mean, you know, the ball is in Knights of Grill's court. Uh, I'm not sure how much time is left, uh, but, you know, it, it's, it's definitely in their court. They need to cap three times to win this game, and that's assuming that Chill to Good doesn't reel it back in and finish it 5-0. Oh, I mean... It's still 2-0 now, so think about that. Looks like Knights of Grills holding pretty far back. You can see Grills is basically standing on the cap. Very passive play right here. I like the scouts holding it under, though. From under as a scout, you can see if the enemy combo has rotated to the flank or anything, so you get such an early calm. Yep, and it looks like they're going to be making a play now. It may be a three or four man suicide. They should be able to make the medic pop without a problem. I don't see him popping though. Yeah, that was getting unlucky, like barely whiffing the rocket on the medic there. Really unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, yep, and Knights of Grills will be pushing in directly off of that. Let's watch from the pocket's perspective. Sure Shot will definitely be spearheading this Uber, but it looks like they came in behind again for the same type of play. Kosa going down again to the roam sure shot focusing the scout if he goes down then they're going to be in good a good position he does go down to denny and nicer grills has a man advantage here 
RB a little out of place capping mid when his team is fighting at second. I don't know if I agree with that. Wow, Dunn finishing that scout off with his last shot and his clip there. Well, that was really hectic and all over the place. Backpacks coming, back caps coming out from both sides, excuse me. Looks like Chill to Good tried to go back to second, but RB tried to back cap mid. And it looks like it's probably just going to even out here, but Chill to Good sitting with a two-man advantage. Probably going to push into second here, but a soldier getting all over Delta Fox, but he accidentally falls down drop down there. Kind of unlucky. Yep, and it was just three down, uh, meaning there were three members down, four Knights of Grills, but only one spawning their demo, not going to be able to get to two in time. He's just spamming now, but Kosa takes out Sure Shot. Dunn taking this Uber in, Uber v Uber, is going to have to probably back as they have a slightly better Uber and he is putting stickies down all over the combo. Lands a nice pill onto Dunn. And we may have a reset here with, you know, a pretty sizable advantage to chill to good as they have that, that large uh, spawn advantage, you know, having that, that second point. Yeah, and at the same time being up two rounds, I'm expecting Mangachu to suicide in here and respawn uh, Sniper or Spy or something along those lines. He's always a fan of doing that. Very notable for his creative off-class. Yep, we may be seeing that very shortly. Someone will, will surely get the itch and get anxious and want to get in there and try to make something happen. But Stream, if you're not familiar, this map is kind of tough to suicide on the medic, especially when you have an engineer and a gun going up. This is a decent spot for that, that sentry. It can deny the right side, it can deny them if they get on the point, and it is level three, so that is gonna be a problem that they will have to address as they push in. And it's gonna take some spam, it's gonna take some of that ammo that they'd wanna have for the remainder of the team. They're peeking in here, and Mangachu backing out with just nine HP remaining. Um, Dennis the Menace on Sniper, just trying to, to catch a pick. He's going to be peeking left side here. The scout yep. spots him, and I'm sure that will be called now. With both Dennis and RB, the two scouts for Knights of Grills on off classes, Sniper and NG respectively, it'll be really hard for them to push out of last year if they do get those picks. Without any scouts, it's going to be incredibly hard to get the cap time they're going to need. Yeah. And Dennis the Menace getting a nice pick onto Dunn as he just walks right into that crosshair and his head is now gone. So they're going to opt to push in off that Grills holding this Uber with 50, with just only 50 health remaining, pushing in. They're going to have to pop in response. However, they have a 30% advantage over that Uber. They're going to be chasing hard to try to get Grills in this pocket, but they can't chase through that demo spam. And we have another reset. Mangachu you're getting very lucky there, landing without the, with the Uber ending on him on three stickies. Luckily not getting deaded on now. But it looks yep. like we still have RB and uh, Dennis the Menace off-classing. That's probably why the push didn't go so well there. But it looks like we're going to have a drive push maybe. Mangachu jumping in on the left, getting all over the NG. Not able to take it down, they're going for the dispenser pick. Yeah, and that's three down for Chill to Good. They need to be getting off their off-classes now if they're wanting to take their second immediately and they're not getting off their off classes so i don't think they're planning on pushing unless they're gonna push with three looks which... like rb still staying ng although dennis has switched off the scout yeah and grills is 74 health Chaz is at 100 and they just backed out mangachu going down uh, in the alleyway and they're looking to push up i am not sure how they got that second point with two off classers and no scouts i'm a little confused I'm pretty confused too, and it looks like Knights of Grills are going to continue that forward momentum, fighting here in Valley. It looks like Dunn is going to force a solo Uber on, or an Uber exchange on the enemy team. Lots of multis going down, but Mangachu did go down earlier. He's spawning now, and both Chaz and Patty sitting at pretty low health. The demo going down for Knights of Grills. That's a big pick, but B-Man and Sure Shot trading as well. Yep, and both scouts are getting very aggressive in the alleyway. A soldier bombing in. But Chill to Good is going to back this out, and they're going to try to hold on to that sizable Uber advantage. They can definitely take that right back in and just take that point back. They want to make it blue. They don't like that red color. Did Delta Fox manage to grab an Uber saw or something in there? I don't see how he managed to get 40%. Yes, he did get an Uber saw. Ah, uh, that explains that. But they're playing so far back that I don't know if they're going to be pushing it. They will not get in before Knights of Grills gets this Uber. So. I don't know, they're being a little little slow on this. Grills can just back up safely with his pocket. 
and they should be able to uber right back into this but sure shot not with the medic there's the pop they should be able to chase oh i don't agree with that i really feel like he should have gone for that medic because the uber dropped off way earlier trying to get what's behind them and they're staying aggressive yeah, still managing to keep four people alive and getting grills incredibly low. Sure shot dropping, grills dropping as well now. Only Dennis and Patty left alive, Chaz only spawning. Not really and sure how they managed to get that there, to be honest. And there you have it. Chill to good, taking that second point with only a demo and a medic remaining. Um, you know, in that case, if I were sure shot, I would have gone for that medic. It was a free pick that Uber was dropping immediately. Uh, you know, getting that medic that early, there's no way that they could have held that aggression up at that level for so long. And I think that's where, where that the flaw in that play went. They went back for those two picks when they should have just left him because they didn't cap two yet. It wasn't very important. And that's what and that's, happens. It's going to leave Delta Fox with a 40% advantage to push last. Probably going to see Dunn and B-Man yet again take this Uber in. It looks like Mangachu is going to be a heavy to follow up afterwards. Just basically lay down that heavy weapon spam after the Uber. Yep, and they have a 30% advantage here. They need to be taking this in now. B-Man spearheading this Uber with Shirley Dunn to follow. However, there is a level 3 sentry right next to the medic. B-Man going down. They're sitting pretty behind this sentry. I don't see anything happening with a level 3 they need to get it down. It finally goes down, but not before Chaz takes out Kosa, the opposing demo. And there goes Delta Fox. A nice pill from Chaz. Only Dunn remains, and he's not going to cap this last. He's hiding underpass. He's going to see if he can make a play. And he should just go down here. Falling to his clumsy, painful death. Yeah, effectively a full wipe coming out there in favor of Knights of Grills. Pretty impressive hold. And now they're going to be sitting at around a 35% advantage. Probably going to want to push mid off of this. And with Dunn still down, we might see a slow push. There goes the opposing demo. These demos are just all over each other. There's been demo v demo sp spars, if you will, all match long. And this is a great game, Quest. I, I am loving this. I got nerd chills on my body as we speak, as I'm watching this TF2. I agree completely. Incredibly back and forth. Always someone flanking, something interesting happen. Barely seen any stalemates, and when it's not stalemating, really hectic action. Constantly people coming in and dying left and right. Yeah, this is the type of action and the type of refined gameplay that I would expect from, you know, some invite teams. So, this is great, and chill to good going for the roundabout play again, and able to... Oh, RB picking off Delta Fox before he gets Uber and Knights of Grills looking to use that uber they have to play in a small area so that they don't die oh just this scout here and a soldier they should be able to take out sure shot and grills and they're gonna cap second again only Dennis the Menace just spawning now unless he can be the savior is he gonna beef it 13 health on Schnell he needs to get out and not get caught on that Oh, it's very close. I have to give some props to Mangachu there. He opened that up with a pick on the scout and yard, and then he came into the point, got another three kills, and basically kind of took that for his team there. Props to Mangachu. Yeah, I mean, Dennis could have been the savior of of Knights of Grills, but just couldn't kill Mangachu quite quick enough and had to back. So, it was a little, a little underwhelming. I'm a little underwhelmed. So it looks like yet again, gonna see another around 30% advantage for Delta Fox. Probably gonna see another push led by B Man. Hopefully they can figure it out, get that sentry gun down sooner. So I think that was the downfall of their last push. Looks like they're gonna get forced very early though. Delta Fox forced uh, in the far right over there. Just now managing to get the gun and Patty. If they can just reset now, play the spam game, it looks like they are. They're going to be able to take down Chaz's enemy demo. With those stickies on the point, this should be a relatively easy cap for them. And yeah, only grills. Oh, 99%. So unlucky. So that's going to take us into the next half. Yep, that is a 3-0 for chill to good. If I know anything about momentum, it is definitely in chill to good's favor. I mean... I'll be honest with you, Quest, I don't see this game going any other way but maybe 5-1, 5-0 chill to good. Just because of that momentum swing, it's definitely swinging toward chill to good. I agree completely. Coming in off of a, such a strong cushion that last there, 
especially dying at 99% as a medic, that's pretty disheartening. That's never fun. Kind of puts you in a sour mood there. And very impressive so far from Chill to Good. I think we've only seen Knights of Girls push their last once, so probably not feeling too good over there in the enemy team mumble. Yeah, you know, a lot of, of how the re remaining rounds are going to go is going to be depending on the the mumble atmosphere or or whatever program they may be using could be TeamSpeak, could be ventrilo they could be skyping maybe they're on a conference call i don't know but it's gonna it's gonna be all dependent on that are they positive right now are they talking about what they need to change to make these next few rounds count if they can reel it back to 3-3 then this game is in anyone's court but right now it's highly unlikely. It takes a lot of, I'd say, experience in the game. You need to know that that your positivity, the team's outlook on the match, has to be positive. Even if you're down 3-0, even if you're down dirt all over you in the trenches, you got to be positive. Yeah, I was watching another game with Knights of Grills a few days ago where they were down, I believe, 2-0, or no, I believe it was 1-0 at the half against a team on Gravel Pit, and they just had an incredible comeback, one with only two seconds left, and afterwards we were talking to them about it, and the mumble atmosphere completely changed. Before they were kind of upset with each other, but afterwards it was just so clutch, everyone was feeling great, and I think that mumble atmosphere allowed them to turn it around, and they were able to win that game. So maybe we'll see something similar here. If they can get a really impressive round off or a really impressive crits play out of Chaz or just something to get that momentum swinging again, I think they have a chance. But if nothing like that happens, I could also see Chill to Good taking this 5-0. Yeah, and you know, I feel that the the atmosphere for, for Chill to Good is going to be great. Mangachu even came into the stream chat and came to say hi to us. He's feeling pretty confident. He's feeling pretty good. I want to watch from Kosa's perspective. He's been playing very well. And here we go. You want to take this mid? Sure. So it looks like Kosa is going to be lobbing some stickies over to the far right, able to hit two on Chaz, but still hasn't found the enemy scouts yet. Just now starting to hit them. It looks like they're going to... Oh, he's already down to 16 health. This is going to force Delta Fox to put almost all of his heals onto them. And Sure Shot and Grills both dropping now. It looks like Chill to Good need to basically ball up on Delta Fox and play the heals now, with only Chaz, Dennis, and RB left alive. Patty and RB all dropping now. Really need to get this scout all over Delta Fox. Delta Fox dropping to a great flame from Dennis there. Yep, and it looks like it's Kosa versus Chaz. Kosa at the health deficit surely will go down. And there he goes. Chaz is going to take that mid, that times two cap, showing that pain train that it's got to get to work. I want to cap two times as fast. Anyway, Chaz going to be looking to set up a forward trap here momentarily, I'm sure. They have a slight advantage on Knights of Grills. They're going to have to make something happen here. They have 30 minutes to bring it back in. To, to make it a 3-3 three, three and, and maybe even a 5-3, but it's going to take a miracle, and this is the start. Yeah, Grill's sitting at around a 20% advantage. Not sure if he realizes that. Looks like Sure Shot is playing really aggressively in the choke here, trying to get in, but RB already going down on the flank. Looks like he just needs to back up before they lose any more of their players. But Dunn, the enemy pocket going down as well. And, but three people dropping incredibly low, and Chaz going down as well. I think they just need to back up and cut their losses while they can. Yep, and they tried to get a little too aggressive there before that uber was ready, before they could push in. Now, two down with Chill to Good is going to be looking to push in here and take this point, but I don't see them letting them have it for free. As Dennis the Menace tries to come in first, they're backing out right quick. They're going to maintain that uber uh, that they'll have now, and they may just look to come right back in. B-Man going down, however, to RB. Kosa putting down spam, not letting that combo in. And there comes the pop from Delta Fox. Dunn sitting behind the combo with 86% or 86 health, rather. Notices that soldier jumping around his head, kind of distracting. Very good play by him. And Schnell hurt. They're at a health disadvantage. I mean, this should go to Knights of Grills right now. And as I yeah. say that, Knights of Grills get a back cap. And they may just take that to last. RB going to last right now. Yeah, just like we saw RB back at mid in the last round, it looks like he's going to go to last and live with 8 health. Really impressive there, but at the same time, by doing that, he almost cost his team the round. Being down a scout in that really close quarters fight could have been detrimental to Knights of Grills, but luckily it paid off and able to get his team around. Hopefully that's the momentum shift that they need. Yep, you know, in this mid, I want to watch from Knights of Grills' perspective because they could take that high, ride that high into this new mid. I'm going to watch from Chaz's perspective and 
He lands that first sticky onto the demo. Surely he called that. He sees something on the left. He puts those stickies up, and now he's falling back. He's out of ammo. He's completely out of the mid. Patty getting onto the opposing team's demo takes him down. All that spam coming in on Patty. Sure shot taking out Delta Fox. Their medic's down. Knights of Grills is looking very good now after that half. And RB is definitely going to take out that soldier. That scout, he needs to back up. He's got 30 health. He might get that med pack. RB feeling very confident, willing to take on this 1v1, but I think that Schnell is just going to run, and it looks like he will, but RB is going to put all that pressure onto him. He wants to take him out, and he can. With only 19 health, he gets out. So they will be taking two very quickly. Knights of Grills. This is a different Knights of Grills. What are we watching? This is awesome. Yeah, I feel like that momentum shift really coming into play there after getting that back cap, really kind of turning it around, figured out what they needed to fix it mid. Now they're going to have that 100% uber advantage to push into last. I wonder what they're going to do because we really haven't seen any met last pushes from them so far in this game. Yeah, and uh, it'd be nice to see that with a full advantage. I'm sure they're coming in. They are on the left side. Dunn going down immediately. Dennis the Menace getting some of that uber, trying to put out as much damage as he can. Pa Patty taking down Mangachu, and it just, everything following. So, wow, a quick two rounds for Knights of Grills. I love this. This is like Game of Thrones Season 4. This is some next level shit, man. Yeah, this is really getting fun. I was not expecting that. Oh, it looks like RB going to fluff up the rollout a little bit, but it doesn't matter too much as a scout. But yeah, they were able to get in for free on the left and just completely take out Dunn before the chill to get even realize that they were there. Great execution of that last push there. Yep, and Patty, I want to watch him at this mid. He did some work getting on that demo right away. He's jumping for that medic, puts out 100 damage into him. That medic is down. Patty takes him down, but they need to make plays now. Delta Fox goes down as well, and it's just the two soldiers. And this is salvageable. This is salvageable by Knights of Grills. Uh, Dunn going to definitely push up, grab this med pack, try to put some time on that point, but Chaz and Dennis the Menace up should be able to deflect that um, if they are up there in a second or two. If not, they're just going to take two, and once that happens, you're in a much worse position. And they're just going to let them have it. Yeah, really unfortunate they, were, they weren't able to get those spawns up there, because if you can hold second, you're in a much better place, but as soon as you're stuck on your last, that's almost a death sentence if the enemy team is playing it correctly. They can just keep on sacking people in, except Metalworks is kind of the exception to that rule. Suicides haven't really been so effective on this map. Just throwing people in there just allows the enemy team to push out on you so easily. So I still think the Knights of Grills have a pretty good chance of pushing out here, even with those two off classes and RB and Dennis on NG and Sniper respectively. Right, and it looks like Delta Fox is running crits. Depending on how this crits goes, I mean, they, yes, they have a sniper, yes, they have an NG, but that gun, if it's below the bridge, will not do anything. Oh, nice, beautiful air shot, on to, or air shot, headshot rather, onto Dunn, the uh, pocket rather going down, and they should just be able to take this right back in. That is exactly what they did not want to happen as they pushed in. Those classes, they should be switched off NG and sniper and back onto scout so that they can get that capping power. A little slow on that. Dennis the Menace still on Sniper. Maybe still... Uh, I don't know. Starstruck about that headshot. He's like, I, I headshot the Masterful, the Great Dunn. Might have been taunting there a little bit. You know, proud of himself. Yep, like jumping around with the Sniper Rifle out. Get this, though. Yeah, that was really unlucky with Kosa there. He had such a clean shot on three people on the bridge, but slightly overcharged the sticky, just barely missing the medic. But it looks like they're going to have 90% crits here, but Grill's still sitting at 100% Uber. It looks like they're going to go for one of their famous wraparound plays yet again, and the Uber is forced for Grills here. Delta Fox still hasn't forced his crits. If they can get a really nice crits on it done in a close quarter space here, expect it. many, many, many people to drop. And it looks like they're going to go back in here, dropping Sure Shot and RB. Kosa trying to hit a long range sticky on Grills, able to take him out. Dennis going down as well. Only two people left. And yep, that was a great play by Chill to Good. They seem to be loving those roundabout plays. As soon as they start to push in through that main entrance, they just go around Alley. And Kosa taking out Chaz. Surely this will be the nail in their coffin for this round. Four to two Chill to Good ratio. This mid is everything. This mid is everything. Yeah, if Knights of Grills are able to take this one, that'll be exactly what they need. Give them another chance to push last. But if they get pushed all the way back to their last, it's going to be grim. Just like in Mumble, they're already down four rounds. They really need this mid to give the morale shift and the just the opportunity to push last at this point. Chaz opting to sticky off that lower area. He knows that soldier's there, puts up some defensive stickies, but they do miss. And they're going to be in some trouble here if they don't get a pick right now. Wow, 
and two, three players down for Knights of Grills already. They're leaving that point. They want to get these last frags and they want to secure this last round. And they're excited. RB6 held craters to his death. I'm glad I caught that. <laughs> so Delta Fox with 100% crits advantage. I don't even know if Knights of Grills is aware of that, but it's, it's not regular Uber. They possibly can defend it if they get that sentry up, which I anticipate Dennis the Menace is hiding, trying to make a play. And I think he's behind them now. If I could just find him. And they use that crits. Kosa takes out Sure Shot. Dennis goes down. Chaz the demo goes down. And there is a soldier on Delta Fox. Patty taking out Delta Fox. But I think it's going to be too late as only RB and Grills remain. A level 1 sentry also. A mystery sentry, if you will, hiding at the left side. And that is quite the mystery sentry. Can so this NG <laughs> get a 3k? Wow. But it looks like, wow, the spawns are going to stop. But only Delta Fox left alive. The mystery sentry carrying the day. Holding oh, the Knights of Grills in this game. Sure. That was that was really close right there. I thought yep. for sure that Chelsea could have won the game with that. I, I thought it was done. I, I thought it was completely done. Three people down from that crits play. And only an NG and a Medic and a level 1 sentry remaining against three people. Mangachu coming in, looking very confident with his... Uh, escape plan and just kind of not looking so great so now they're getting pushed back mid looks like uh, a potential prospect for them they have uber they have 20 percent advantage but they need to get in now if they want to make something happen delta fox eating some spam down to 60 health he's gonna have to back out a bit done should go down here he does and that's two down they should they'll take this mid no problem and this is what they need yeah, Delta Fox still in the Craig, so we're going to see Grills pushing in here against a crits. I'd like to see them taking it really quickly. They're going to need to pop, though. Delta Fox probably going to go down here after Kosa drops, sitting with 50 health left on his crits, but crits does not do much against uber people. <laughs> That's, yes, truer words have never been spoken, my friend. B-Man trying to make something happen on the flip side, grabbing that pack, may be able to back out as there is some pressure coming in from uh, Mangachu onto Dennis the Menace, taking him out, but Chaz does take him out on the flip side. Yeah, it looks like B-Man and Dunn trying their best to take control of this last again. RB pushing a little prematurely and going down, and B-Man able to take Chaz down. Great aggressive play out of them, really seeing that high IM scout DM. Yep, definitely, definitely so. But they will be pushing up as their demo is alive. Guys, this is what you should be taking note of. When the opposing team's demo is down, use your demo to play forward to try to get that that demo spam in when the opposing team's demo is down but RB might be going for a flank onto the last point he may have it no there is a scout if he can kill this scout he can cap this point down to 60 health he will be opting to back out Dunn catches him with a rocket and that uber comes in from the right side just fading out 4v4 and Knights of Grills is going to back up safely here B-Man looking to make a play knows the demo's hurt that soldier's hiding I don't think he's going to be able to make anything happen as three of the members of Chill to Good are in the red health yeah, I feel like Kosa really wanted to push out there off of that pick advantage, also knowing the Delta Fox does have 40% Uber advantage, but at the same time, they're all so low, and Mangachu's going down on the flag, even with this Uber advantage, I'm not sure if it's going to amount to anything, because if they push out right now, there's such a chance of getting back half or something. You are correct. Chill to good, one down, Mangachu. Um, you know, it's just going to be a reset after reset. I think they should play this as slow as they need to. They have to win this round. They have to win the next round. And the round following, uh, if they if they want to take this game, and all within the span of about, I think, what are we at now? 18 minutes or so, probably. Yeah, that feels around right. So definitely enough time for this to happen. That's a good chance for like a good five minute around. That's definitely feasible. So I don't think the clock is too much of an issue at the moment. I think they just need to play it slow. Know that they're on the enemy's last right here. Just calm down and mumble. Just play their cards right. Realize that they are. They do the high ground right now, so they just need to play it slowly, see how it goes. Yep, I, if I were Knights of Grills right now, I'd be opting to maybe just try to make a suicide play happen. Maybe get someone in there to die like uh, Dennis and switch off to Sniper and see what kind of pick they can make happen. But they have to make it happen within the span of a couple minutes because they still do have two more rounds following this one, assuming they get this one, that they need to win in order to take this game. 
So both teams just kind of trading spam right now. I'm guessing eventually we're going to see Dennis go in and switch off to Sniper or something along those lines. We've already seen that he's favored that. And it looks like Mangachu is going to be hiding over on the far left. So not too much happening here. Uh, B-Man having to pretty much just pick up a sentry and put it back down at the bottom there. If B-Man is 50 health, if they can land some spam onto him, then they might be able to pick him, but they do not. And that sentry will be safe and sound underneath the bridge. Looks like Mangachu able to take down the pocket with this cheeky little hiding spot there, but Chaz realizing what was going on, making sure to take him down as well. So it looks like there's just going to be a soldier trade there. Yeah, and Chiltigood is going to be very comfortable just holding their last as they are two rounds up. They have all the time in the world while, on the other hand, Knights of Grills doesn't. So they need to make something happen very soon, and they're all on their standard classes. It doesn't look like they're they're wanting to move here. Yeah, Stick in the mud status. I thought Dennis would have gone back to spawn and switched off to Sniper while his pocket and Shot was holding the door open there or something, but nothing really happened. It looks like Sure Shot really edging the far left like here. It looks like he wants to go in and Mangachu hiding again, taken down by Sure Shot. Great play by him. Yeah, surely they'll try to make a play off of that pick by Sure Shot. Here comes the Uber, popped much quicker than Chill to Goods. 50% advantage on that. Two members of Knights of Grills going down. Sure Shot down to 90 health. Going down, only three remain for Knights of Grills. They're going to have to salvage this if they ha want any hope at getting this round. And they're just conceding that second point. No choice. They should just put sticks up, try to hold this, and get the remainder of their players up and just try to get another opportunity to re-push. Yeah, it was really tragic there, finally losing that last point, but at least they realized how to cut their losses, got out, sitting at even Ubers, and it looks like Dennis is going to respawn heavy here, going to try and catch some people with a surprise heavy on the corner, but it looks like he's probably going to show himself here, they're probably just going to try and get in with his heavy, plop him down, have him absorb all the spam in the world. Yep, all that spam coming in just like they wanted to, but Dennis does go down to that, they may just look to push off of that pick, and there it comes, Mangachu landing a beautiful rocket onto Chaz, taking him out, surely with their demo down, they will not be able to hold this, with sure shot down to 100 health, being healed right now, they, oh my goodness, how do I keep missing these beautiful plays by these roamers, what am I doing with my life, Patty taking out Delta Fox, Delta Fox dropping that uber, but Chiltigood still in a positional advantage as they are on the point, and Knights of Girls will have to push and use uber to try to make something happen, RB taking out Dunn, sure shot taking out B-Man, that's only three re for remaining four chill to good. They need to get in here, but they shouldn't do it too quickly because if they do and lose numbers, they may run the risk of being repushed. Grills walking onto those stickies, dropping down to 24 health, living dangerously. I mean, that's YOLO. There, yeah. That's the embodiment of YOLO. So Grills doing it big, and they're looking to what? Just take this right in with that two down. I agree. Do it big. Get on the point. Let that demo do his, his job. Yeah, I like this. This is great. Chaz just sticking up the point, able to get a lot of kills. Grills playing really aggressively on there, and that's going to be a round for them, sitting at 4-3. Really impressive play from Knights of Grills there, able to turn it down. I have to give credit to Patty. Dropping the enemy medic really won his team the round there. Great play for him. And again, I... You know, I'm going to watch from Knights of Grills. I want to see something happen. I'm going to watch from Patty's perspective this time. He's been making some pretty big plays. I mean, him and Mangachu, they're button heads. They're like freaking Rams, man, and I'm loving it. I'm ba da ba 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 loving it, just like Subway. Go ahead and take this mid, buddy. So it looks like Dennis going down really early, Kosa going down as well. Delta Fox sitting very low, all of Chill to good in the red at this point. It looks like they are able to live though, all of them slowly getting healed up with that medic Delta Fox and sitting at the people disadvantage. It looks like Knights of Grills are going to have to back up. Grills barely able to get out of this, but Patty's thing in too long, going to go down. They really just need to cut their losses. RB and Grills need to stay alive if they're going to want to have a chance of holding the second point. Yep, and Grills is getting out alive. He's going to maintain that Uber, which is the most important thing. Mangachu is playing kind of forward here. He could go down, and if he does, that is very... Very fortuitous for Knights of Grills, a desperate Knights of Grills who's going to need to take this round in order to put it just even with a measly 13 minutes remaining and even less now, probably down to 12. They have 12 minutes to take two rounds, chill to good, hunkering down on the midpoint, looking to try to hold this. 
It looks like Knights of Grail is going to push him from the low ground here off that Mangachu pick. But Mangachu already spawning. Not sure I agree with that. Such a delayed push. And it looks like Uber is barely, basically the exact same at this point. Both single Ubers are going to trade off. Looks like RB getting very low as well. It's down as if both scouts go down for Knights of Grails, this could be bad. But it looks like they're able to turn it around, pick up Mangachu yet again. But Dennis still sitting at 4 health. Dennis on a far health. Patty down to 16 health, trying to make a play. Finally goes down by a rocket from Dunn. Dennis grabbing that med pack. Grills needing the med pack, but getting it snatched out from under his fingers by Dennis. He needs that health, man. Scouts that are would, fast. I would have taken my hand out of my pocket and slapped that scout. Scouts right are there. fast, man. Me. When they want the pack, you can't stop them. That was cruel. So, I mean, we got a 20% advantage on Knights of Grills. But it's not going to stand for anything as it is difficult to push into the midpoint when your opponent when your opponent rather has the advantage. They're looking to get aggressive here. Kosa pushing up to the side of the point, putting those spam stickies onto the combo. And Grills is at 77 health. And they may have to pop here pretty soon. Kosa dropping down to the red health. Confident Carl, Schnell picking off Dennis, and Dunn picking off the opposing scout. And they're just looking to back up to their last here. This is Knights of Grill is on their back foot. They have to make something happen here or they will lose this match. I can't believe Grills and Chaz are able to get out of that. Great job maneuvering. And at the same time, that was, oh, it looks like a Shields of Good are gonna push in here. Both scouts just flooding in. Dunn going down, but at the same time, Sure Shot, Grills, Patty, and Chaz all going down. Only Dennis and RB left alive. Looks like that Heavy is going to need to do something crazy if they're going to be able to hold this. Three people left alive for Chill to go. The Heavy going out to 75 health. Scout getting all over Kosa and great shot for Mangachu able to take down RB. Just the Heavy left alive. Grills, Sure Shot, and Patty all spawning. But I think that's going to be the game. Unless the Scout can get on to the point. Oh, but Dennis not able to do enough there. Yep, and that's going to be a 5-3 Chill to good.